Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a Python project which is entitled as Disease Classification in Wheat from Images Using CNN which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. So, in agriculture, every year there are various things affecting the farmer so that the agriculture productivity is getting lower so one of the important thing is the diseases attack to the plants so here in the base paper the authors have taken the wheat crop as the main plant here so wheat is not only cultivated in india it also been cultivated in many countries like Pakistan, Bangladesh and many other countries. So here in the base paper the authors have proposed the disease classification in the wheat leaf using CNN. So here in the classification the classes they have used is yellow rust, brown rust, tan spot and healthy. We are not going to use the same. We are going to use five classes because these diseases will be varied according to the locality the country kinds of thing so now let, let um, we'll see about that what all the classification that we are going to use so generally in the existing system we are all we, we already developed using rice leaf uh, disease and also we have used plant diseases also but uh, many of the people not considered about the wheat leaf so this is an uncovered area and now let us see about the our proposed system so here in the proposed algorithm or model we are going to implement using mobile net architecture and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 96 percentage and the validation accuracy we have achieved is 91 percentage so this is the IEEE base paper title which is disease classification in wheat from images using CNN or you can use our proposed title wheat leaf disease detection using deep learning. So this is the IEEE base paper. So now let us see about the our proposed abstract. So in the proposed abstract, so we are going to implement the wheat leaf disease using deep learning using the mobile net architecture. So coming to the data set part, we are going to add more images in the proposed system than existing so here we are going to use 5597 wheat leaf images so the classes of the images data set is brown rust healthy loose mud septoria and yellow rust so these are the five classification that we are going to use in the proposed system so the base existing system contains four classes and we are going to use five classes and also the more images so here we are going to use mobile net architecture and the proposed uh, uh, architecture that we have achieved is 96 percentage and the validation accuracy of 91 percentage and these are the things that is mentioned in the abstract part um, before moving to the next part let, let me show you about the data set part so in the source code in the model folder we have this data set folder where you can see the five classes that is brown rust healthy loose mud septoria and yellow rust so these are the images that is available in the brown rust so the brown rust contains around 1256 images this is about the brown rust and these are all the healthy images so this does not contain any diseases so these are all the healthy images which contains 1658 images and comes the loose mud so these are the images of the disease loose mud which contains around 939 images and comes the septoria disease here you can see the images of the septoria disease which contains 349 images and final class is yellow rust which contains 1395 images these are all the diseases of the classification yellow rust class so we have seen about the data set part 
So coming back to the document, you can see about the existing system. So we have considered the AlexNet architecture of the existing system, so which achieved the accuracy of 84.54 percentage. So those details of the existing system is been mentioned here, and here you can see the disadvantages of the existing system. So disadvantages of the existing system is being listed out here. And here in the proposed system, you can see about the mobile mobile net architecture details and the classes and the what is the accuracy we have achieved and how the model we are going to use all the details being listed in the proposed system and comes the advantage of the proposed system so here you can see the list of the advantages that is in the proposed system and here you can see the system architecture which contains the weekly image data set pre-processing feature selection is made and mobile net architecture is printed and the printed result is being classified as brown rust or healthy or loose mud or spectoria or yellow rust and finally performance analysis and graphs already shown and coming to the system on hardware requirements and software requirements as mentioned we'll be developed the project using python and the version that we are using is python 3.10.9 and the web framework is flask and the front end part is developed using html CSS, and javascript so this is the reference of the base paper before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirement while the exact version of the python or the library is installed in your system now let us see the execution of the project so just go to the source code location copy the source code location now go to your command prompt now go to the drive location where you have pasted the code in my case i have pasted the code in f drive so just go to the f drive type cd space paste the location that we are copied and click enter so now we are into the source code location so now type python app.py and click enter now kindly wait for few minutes So now you can see this URL, just copy this URL, go to any of your browser, I'm going to Google Chrome, paste the URL that we are copied and click enter. So now you can see the home screen, a welcome screen of the project with the project title, disease classification in V images using CNN and you can see this login menu, just click this login menu. So once if you click this login menu, it will be navigated to the login page. Kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project. So just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and click login. So now you can see the login success message and click OK. So now it will be navigated to the preview part where you can upload the test image and find the classification or whether it is a disease or a healthy one so now let me choose the choose file image and you can go to the test data folder so in the source code folder we have this test data where you can see the all the five classes which we have shown you first let me show you with the first class brown dress so now let me select an image so you can preview the image that we have selected and click submit so now you can see the pictured result is classified as brown dress. So if you wanted to check with other image, just click this preview menu again. Select choose file. This time let me go to the next class, healthy case. Let me select an image. This is the image I have selected and click submit. And now you can see the pictured case this is the healthy one. So just let me check with other case by clicking the preview menu. Let me choose the file. I'll go to the other class that is loose mud and select an image. So this is the image I have selected and let me check the prediction result for this and click submit. And now you can see the prediction result is loose mud. I'll go to the preview menu again, choose the file. I'll go to the septoria this time and select an image and click this is the image that I have selected and click submit. And now you can see the picture result is Septoria. Let me go to the preview menu again. And now let me go to the final class LRS. Let me select the image and click submit. 
and now you can see the picture result is yellow rust so now let me go to the preview menu so uh, you can also check with the images that is available in the train data so the, yeah, this till now i have shown you with the test data so to check with the train data i'll go to the model folder inside the data set folder so you can see various uh, uh, five classes various images on each so now let me select this brown rust inside that i will select an image randomly and click submit so now you can see the picture result is brown dress finally i will just select an image let me select this image and then click submit so now you can see the picture result is loose mud so here you can ask me a question so what happens if i'm going to give some other images for example our face image or an object a car image kinds of things so it shows some random result only because we cannot train up the model with all the images that is available in the all over the world so only the images that is trained up for this classification using the five classes only it will be showing that so if you are giving some uh, some other images which is not relevant to the project it shows some random result only so in this way you can check with the other images that is available in the file classification if i'm going to check with all the images the video length will be more so let me move to the next part it is the performance analysis part. So just click this performance analysis menu so it will be navigated to the performance analysis part so where you can see the performance analysis parameters like accuracy precision recall and f measure value so the accuracy is 0.91 precision is 0.94 recall is 0.91 f measure is 0.91 so here you can see the confusion matrix of the project which contains the true and the predicted label for the five classes and final comes the chart part so just click this chart menu it will be navigated to the chart part so where you can see two charts that is model loss chart and the model accuracy chart so kindly note that these two are static charts only it is not dynamic chart because we are not using any database in the project so this chart is being depicted from the backend code python code that we have developed in the backend so in the chart part it contains the model loss graph which contains the loss and epax that is made in the project and you can see the model accuracy graph which contains the accuracy and the epax made in the project so this is about the chart part which contains model loss and model accuracy graphs and now let me log out and this is all about the project disease classification in wheat from images using cnn or wheat leaf disease reduction using deep learning using python and thank you for watching